This is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Deese joining us here at Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. They don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Hey, what up? Happy Thursday. Jason Walker Show from the Off the Wall Man Cave. And a big show coming up today. Get you set for the weekend in sports. Also going to check in with East Helena coach Tyler Murray, Jefferson coach Clint Lang. A lot of games tonight, especially in the double A. So we'll uh, run through those coming up. A show that you can always watch on Rumble, True Social, Facebook, YouTube. Listen on Podbean, Network One Sports, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeart Podcast, Apple, Google, and so much more. And uh, I found a very, a brand new place in Dallas area uh, when Montana State makes the national championship uh, that I will be doing my show from and uh, cannot wait for that in January. Hopefully I get down there. But Rowdy Cowboy, that's going to be the place to hang for MSU. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, the Walk Up brought to you by the Montana Disabled American Vets. Check out mtdav.org to volunteer to drive our fantastic and heroes to their appointments across the state. The DAV puts on over a million miles a year, and not just uh, volunteering for that, but also for the different events that go on with the MTDAV. And check it out, volunteer mtdav.org to get going. Uh, big games in the double A tonight. Second rank capital travels to Missoula Big Sky. Both teams are five and one. The top spot in the West is on the line. Capital four and zero. Big Sky three and one in league play. Uh, capital second in the double A in scoring, and uh, pretty good defense too. Big Sky's got the number one overall defense. They allow just seven point three points per game. Merrick Mahelish, quarterback for Capital, it's unbelievable. I mean, he's got to be the front runner for the player of the year in the AA. 24 touchdowns, zero interceptions. He's second in passing yards in the state, fourth in rushing, first in TD passes. So he's passed for 19, he's run for four. You got both Almquist, uh, Avery Omled, big sky quarterback, he's pretty good. He accounts for 212 yards per game, both through the air and on the ground. You've got West at Great Falls High on Friday night. West, number three in the state, one of two unbeatens. Great Falls High coming off the pounding the Bison took last week to new number one Gallatin. And West, 6-0. Bison going to have to run the ball. In... Back-to-back weeks, they went for 320 against the Hawks of Bozeman, 69 yards last week against Gallatin. C.J. Johnson of West is unbelievable. Number one in passing yards, just under 1,800. Um, But he also has a couple of big targets, Elias Bonner, Matt Ludwig. Eight combined touchdowns there, too. And uh, it's going to be a good game. Friday night up in uh, the Electric City. Sentinel at Helena High tonight. Both teams 2-2 two and two in the Western AA. That game kicks off at 7 tonight at Carroll College. Um, big win for uh, the Bengals last week. Mac Lundstrom with four touchdown passes. You got Trig V. Braun. 604 yards. That is second in the state. He's also number one in AA in tackles for loss. 
Uh, Spartans struggling this year. Although Jace Kashatka threw four touchdown passes last week. But it's not the same Spartans team that we've seen over the last half decade or so. But a home playoff berth on the front of that uh, burner tonight at Carroll. Gallatin travels to Belgrade, just short trip to uh, beat the Panthers tomorrow night. Raptors 6-0. and Carter Dalkey uh, leads the double-A, 654 receiving yards. Him and his brother combined for four touchdowns. Reese scored twice. Carter scored twice last week. Grant Vegan, four touchdown passes. And Raptors have only allowed 84 total points. Belgrade, just 10 points a game offensively. CMR at Bozeman tomorrow night. Hawks have lost three in a row. They got to bounce back. Um, lost big to Gray Falls High. Lost to big to Billings West. Lost in double overtime to Gallatin. CMR started the year two and zero, oh, and or coming off a couple of big wins. Caleb Taylor, one hundred six yards per game. Uh, don't forget about Cash Embry, the Bozeman quarterback. He is going to play at Montana State. Announced that yesterday. Uh, Butte High is at Hellgate on Friday night. Uh, the Bulldogs are 2-2 two and two in the West. Hellgate's winless. Butte, a win, probably going to clinch the playoffs. Uh, Glacier is at Flathead this weekend. Glacier, with its one loss, coming to Capitol, has to win out, hope for a Capitol uh, stumble in two straight. Don't see that happening. Kobe Dorches, a couple of touchdowns. He has 14 to lead double-A on the ground this year. Um, Glacier should roll on fr- uh, in their crosstown game against Flathead. And then uh, the other game in the double-A senior is at Skyview tomorrow night. Both teams one and three. Skyview scored 86 points on the year. Senior scored 89. <laughs> uh, Skyview's allowed 195. Seniors allowed 175. Playoff race is heating up with just a couple of weeks left in the regular season. Uh, let's see here. Were there other games tonight? We There is one. I know Jefferson down at Big Timber. We'll talk to Clint Lang coming up, the Panthers coach. Uh, other football tonight. That Glacier Flathead Crosstown game. You also have uh, Dylan at Hamilton tonight. Rocky Boy is at Sims. Billing Central gets the uh, forfeit over Harden. Right? Yeah. Uh, they will play on the volleyball court tonight, though. You also have uh, some other big volleyball matches. Columbus at Joliet. Whitehall is at Jefferson tonight. Huntley Project is at Lame Deer. In uh, in volleyball, Big Sky Sentinel Crosstown, Gallatin at Skyview on uh, the volleyball courts as well. Frenchtown Corvallis in action. Laurel Lockwood, mentioned Whitehall and Jefferson. And uh, Fairview is at Malta tonight in volleyball. What else do we got going on? Anything else tonight? Let's check. You've uh, also got uh, Gardner at White Sulphur Springs. Three Forks at Townsend tonight. Volleyball, that'll be a good one. Manhattan's at Ennis. CJI at Centerville. Uh, that's it for uh, volleyball. Conrad at Shoto, that's, that's a good one. Soccer, Thompson Falls is at Whitefish today. Bozeman girls are at Senior. Gallatin boys at West, and in girls. Sentinel Big Sky on the pitch, both the boys and girls. Belgrade CMR, boys and girls on the pitch as well. And anything else? Lockwood at Billing Central, we mentioned Bozeman at Senior. Okay, so there's your roundup for tonight uh, across the state. 
Got big games coming up uh, on the weekend. Montana State will host uh, number seven, Idaho. The Vandals beat the Cats last year. Late in the season, the Cats would like to get back. That'll be it was 8 o'clock kickoff. It's on ESPN2. Grizz at home on Saturday taking on Northern Arizona. That's a big game, revenge game for the Grizz, too. And they just opened up their indoor practice facility yesterday. So, uh, let's see here. Got the Nile coming up tomorrow and Saturday down in Billings. The uh, first PRCA Rodeo of the Year. And it's a Friday-Saturday instead of Friday-Saturday-Sunday. We mentioned Jess Lockwood going to be uh, riding PRCA circuit for the first time in bull riding, along with his younger brother, Jake. Uh, Sage Newman of Melstone, who is eighth in the Saddle Bronc World Standings, headed to Vegas in December. He will ride Saturday night. Ty Erickson, 2019 World Steer Wrestling Champ, will compete in Slack Friday morning. He is 10th in the world, also headed back to the NFR. Jesse Cruz, 2009 World Saddle Bronc Champ, uh, will ride tomorrow night, Friday night. We also got Parker Bredding, Saturday. Taj Wells of Browning, state champ in wrestling at 145. He's also uh, the high school bull riding champ. He will ride on um, Friday night as well, or Saturday as well. Breading won the Chase Hawks back in December. And, man, it's going to be good. Your returning champs, Jake Lockwood, bull riding. He's Friday. Dawson Dom of uh, Alberta, Saddle Bronc, Friday night. Trevor Johnson of Washington in steer wrestling goes Saturday. Bo Scott of Pryor in tie down goes in slack tomorrow morning. Tyler Box Leitner, who won last year at the Nile in tie down. Runs tomorrow night. Delon Parker, Ryan Zercher on Friday. Um, so there you go. Friday night at the Nile, it is Wear Pink for Breast Cancer Survivors. And on Saturday, it's Patriot Night down at the Metra in Billings. Rodeo season, it never ends. It's the best. My New York Mets, big win last night over the Philadelphia Phillies. Coach Lang, not going to be happy about that. Uh, he will also not be happy about Dallas beating Pittsburgh Sunday night. Hopefully, he's in a good mood when we talk to him later on in the show about his team playing at Big Timber tonight, coming off the win over Columbus last Friday. We'll hear from him a little bit later on, but when we return to the Off the Wall Man Cave, East Helena coach Tyler Murray explains what it was like down on the field during the windstorm last Friday at East Helena Football Stadium. Uh, he will join us next. The Walk Up, brought to you by the Montana Disabled American Vets to volunteer and to help out our heroes. Go to mtdav.org. Coming right back, Tyler Murray, East Helena Coach, here on a Thursday, Jason Walker Show. For more than 20 years, Off the Wall Advertising has built a track record of success helping businesses like yours across the state of Montana. While working with hundreds of businesses, including Jason Walker Media, they have developed a system for success. Off the Wall Advertising utilizes indoor advertising, placing professional billboards in high traffic locations. Let Off the Wall Advertising show you how to get the return on investment you expect from every advertising dollar. Off the Wall Advertising, along with the Jason Walker Show and Continental Divide Radio, have packages for even more bang for your buck. Contact Off the Wall today at offthewallmt.com to schedule a free consultation. Casey Damon is a sixth generation Montanan with deep roots, making her a true Montana insider. She knows all the best places from fishing and recreation to entertainment and local hidden gems. She grew up here, went to the historic Central Elementary School and graduated from Helena High. She is proud of her Montana lifestyle and loves Montana history. Helena and Central Montana are great places to live, work and enjoy, which is why she chooses to keep calling it home. Voted Helena's favorite realtor and Montana's best residential realtor 
realtor. There's no wonder why people go to her for their real estate needs. Casey understands that selling and buying a home is complex and deeply personal. There's also a lot at stake financially and personally. This perspective on the process and the responsibility felt towards her clients drives Casey to truly be an expert at her job. She understands the market and all the variables involved in a real estate transaction, making sure you feel supported and that you have a trusted advisor by your side. To work with Casey Damon, give her a call at 406-465-6780 or text KACIE to 85377. There's only one place in Helena to cure your craving for Cajun cuisine, and that is Cafe Zydeco. From po'boys and catfish to jambalaya and much more, Cafe Zydeco has the best Cajun this side of New Orleans. And Cafe Zydeco cares about those that take care of us. Military, law enforcement, first responders can get your drink free as a way of saying thank you to those that protect us every day. If you're looking for a place to grab lunch or dinner, get the flavor of the Big Easy in Big Sky Country at Cafe Zydeco on Euclid in Helena. Saturday nights are meant for dancing, fun, and good times, and Continental Divide Radio is your home for all that and more as we bring you the Joe Mitchell State Farm Country Dance Hour, followed by an hour of nothing but the best from the 80s with the Joe Mitchell State Farm 80s Party Hour. Celebrate the music of your memories with only the best country dance songs and music from the decade of decadence. The Joe Mitchell State Farm Country Dance Hour and the Joe Mitchell State Farm 80s Dance Party, Saturday nights beginning at 9 on Continental Divide Radio. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Molundi Center, the Copper Club Casino. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com if you are truly looking to get away for a weekend, let Auto Concepts get you started. Introducing the Overlander Camping Setup. The tent fits right on top of your truck, sleeps three, and features an LED light bar and USB connections. It's easy to travel with and pack up to get you away from everyone and up off the ground. Auto Concepts also will get your rig detailed to look good for the summer to make sure your vehicle looks sharp inside and out. Auto Concepts does window tinting, lift kits, cattle guards, and more. Everything your vehicle needs. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. 
Uh, nothing wrong with a little Dexy's Midnight Runners on a Thursday. Come on, Eileen. We welcome you back to the Off the Wall Man Cave. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Make the quality choice for your home at Rutgers Furniture. 1010 Dearborn Helena. Oh, one of the best one hit wonders right there. Oh, man, what a great one. Uh, well, it is uh, Thursday. There are football games tonight, but there's a big one in East Helena tomorrow as it is homecoming. And joining us off the wall, Man Cave, to talk about that loss last week to Haver and look ahead to this week against Lockwood. It's the head coach of my vigilantes, Tyler Murray, on the Jason Walker Show. Well, it is a busy week this week with homecoming, but uh, let's talk a last week uh, game and, and what a, a tale of two different games. I know you guys come up on the short end, but man, that was a very good football game to sit and watch despite the weather conditions uh, on Friday night. Yeah, I'm sure. And, and uh, yeah, it was a fun, it was a fun game overall. Just, uh, just uh, didn't find a way to win, but yeah, great. I mean, that's what football in Montana is all about, uh, you know, elements and, and battling four quarters against tough teams. So it's awesome. Coach, when you look back at last week, um, that wind that really picked up in that, in that second quarter there, the smoke really kind of got low, settled in there for a little bit, but it looked to me like your quarterback, Jack Taylor was, was almost throwing too hard at times. Was that to adjust for the wind? I mean, both teams dealt with it, but it, 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 there was a lot of misses, and I think he was throwing like John Elway type stuff. Yeah, kind of with the wind. Sometimes it's you know you guys try to spin it through there, but um, yeah, it was it's it's just hard to throw yeah. you know in that in that condition. So I think we tr- probably tried to throw a little too much. So um, yeah, it's probably on me. Uh, but overall, I mean, a good performance. I know you're with, you know, some injuries, but Hayden Paddock had a very nice game for you guys. But uh, after that first half, uh, what did you say at halftime defensively that switched the tables in that second half? Yeah, it's a combination of physicality and, and just doing doing their own job um, instead of trying to do everybody else's. Um, you know, and it was, it was something that we, we could – we know we can do. Um, yep. That's the frustrating part. Uh, we know we can do it. We know we have good players, the same players we have on offense for the most part. Um, and I think we're fine schematically. So we got to go out and trust each other, uh, trust our teammates, and, and get out and uh, go fly around 100 miles an hour. It looked – what was it like being on the field when that smoke really came down in the second quarter? I mean, it was almost like the refs didn't know what to do at one point with about nine minutes left to play in the half, but how smoky was it at field level? Yeah. Well, I think that was a dust, dust storm. Um, we've had those before with that subdivision over there. Yeah. Um, and it gets, it gets pretty wild. Like you can't see very much. Um, like we can hardly see the other sideline and then you're worried about things flying across the field. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just, it's just a tough, tough situation with that much wind um so yeah it was, it was wild it was funny watching you know the managers and uh, the trainers and cheerleaders and everybody trying to you know track down things <laughs> that were rolling around on the track but uh let's go back to the football game we mentioned uh, hayden paddock had himself a nice game um how's hayden first of all hayden Wright, and any chance uh he'll be back this week yeah, I was just out of a, uh, out of caution last okay. week. Um, just wanted to make sure that we have him for the rest of the season. Um, no, no point in going out and spoiling him, uh, you know, in one game and then not be able to use him the rest of the season. I hope we get a couple extra ones at the end of the year too. So, sure. he's um, go ahead. He sh- he should be fine this week. Okay, Tyler Murray, the East Atlanta football coach, joining us, Jason Walker show. We switch gears. Uh, it is homecoming week. Uh, Coach Joe Horn down at Townsend yesterday told me it's his second least favorite week of the year uh, with the last game being the, the the least favorite. But homecoming is so stressful on the kids. There's so much going on. There's a ton that, you know, outside of school and outside of football practice that these kids have to focus on. How do you rein them in 
you know, basically now to get ready for a game in 36 hours? Um, well, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure how much of a distraction homecoming actually is to some of these kids. Um, I think it's just the same amount of stuff that they have to do every week, uh, which is still a lot. But some, you know, some guys are doing, you know, some tough classes and, and practice and maybe even a job. Um, so they don't have any time for that. And yeah, they got to dress up a day or two more a week. You know what I mean? Like yeah. some, some guys, how they, how they operate their lives. They're really not that distracted. Maybe some of our freshmen and sophomores who are going to be, you know, doing some floats, and whatever else. Right. Yeah. Um, but, but really Friday is the day, like you said, is the day that's maybe a bit distracting with the parade and shortened school and the assembly and all that. So, uh, you know, I, we talked about it. The most important part of the week is winning on Friday. And, and uh, obviously we want them to be positive people in our school. Sure. You know, participate in all those things. But um, also just remember, it's just every other week. Um, and we got to go win a football game on Friday. So um, get your assignments done, get to sleep, and be ready to play. Do you guys have your dance uh, the night after the game, or is it Saturday? Um, I think it's Saturday this year because we have volleyball Okay, here, uh, Friday and Saturday. Well, it just makes sense to do the, the dance the night after the football game when nothing else is going on. Right. Yeah. I, I just agreed. That's just me. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> you got Lockwood coming to town. Tell me about the lions because this is a team now in a similar situation to you that, you know, a win or two at the end of the year here shakes things up and, you know, rooting for the vigilantes, what do you guys have to do to be Lockwood? Yeah, we got to come out, like like we just talked about, be focused, be ready to go, um, to play a great first 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 quarter. Um, obviously, it's going to take a whole football game, but um, I think we could start fast. That'd be great. Um, but Lockwood has a, you know, a very good old line. That's the best part of the team. Um they're pretty young overall. Quarterback's young. Um, they're they're young in some other spots, but they also have a couple of skill guys that are pretty explosive uh, that are concerning um, on on both sides of the ball. So um, they they've only won two games, but that doesn't mean that they can't win another one and, and a couple more in the year. So um, yeah, they're they're not a, a slap uh, a slouch by any means. So uh, I know you guys are focused on yourself. What was the week of practice like as you head into the game? Um, it's been pretty intense this week. Yeah, I think that's a bad taste in your mouth um, on Friday. So, uh, yeah, it's been pretty intense. Yeah, but you only get 24 hours to dwell on it. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> and that's good. So I think sometimes our kids take losses a little harder, uh, yes, yes. Which, which is good. Uh, we we got to move on, but at the same time, it's okay to be a little little upset and angry the rest of the week. 100% agree. Uh, today is uh, National Angel Food Cake Day. Angel Food Cake fan or favorite food uh, cake? Angel. Uh, <clears throat> uh, if it's there, yeah, I'll eat it. Okay. I'm not going to go and seek it, but yeah. Okay. Like wedding or uh, when do you usually see like an angel? I don't know. Wedding? Okay. It's the only time I've ever seen one, maybe. What was your wedding cake? Oh, I've never had a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> what would be not, what would be yet. a wedding cake? Oh, uh, you know, that's just a tough question to ask in October during football season. Um, oh, come I on. <laughs> I don't think about those types of things, right? Somebody else will. Uh, there you go. Uh, let's see. I'll here. just say, yep. Sounds good. Uh, yep. That, well, it doesn't matter if it's October or not coach. It could be, you know, the middle of July and you'll be saying, yep. Sounds good. Whatever you want. Well, that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it does, doesn't matter. Football season. Just don't get married during football season. Right. And that's what you need to tell your kids uh, that you coach is look, you, you, you got month, nine months out of the year that you can get married three months. You can't. And if she doesn't appreciate that, then she's the wrong one. Right. Hi, Luke. It's Hi, Luke. thought. Um, I'm looking forward to being in the stands tomorrow night. Less wind, it appears, which will be nice. 
and uh, looking for that fast start that I know you guys want. And uh, man, I'm really, really excited because this is this is a chance to to make some more noise here in uh, in Class A football for for my vigilantes. I, I love the setup going into this week for you guys. Yeah, well, yeah, that's maybe. Going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow, and and uh, appreciate you always supporting us. Hey, final, real quick, what's the theme for the student section tomorrow? Do we know yet? The, the theme for the student section. Well, because they all had, um, they were all dressed like minions last week. So, what are they dressed up for this week? Not quite sure. I usually um, usually talk to them on Friday, just kind of ask them quick, but I could find out. Okay. Um, it, it's just fun to sit there. That student section is, is into it and they understand it and they're fun. So yeah, they're doing a good job. They are. They are. Yeah. Uh, they're going to push you guys to a victory tomorrow night. Coach, appreciate it. And, uh, we'll chat after the game. All right. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate you. That is Tyler Murray, the East Helena high football coach uh, from the off the wall man cave, big game Friday night against Lockwood, seven o'clock kickoff. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back, and when we return, we'll head down the I-15 and check in with Jefferson football coach Clint Lang ahead of the Panthers' big game tonight at Big Timber. That is next. This is the Jason Walker Show. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rockers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rockers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rockers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. If you are truly looking to get away for a weekend, let Auto Concepts get you started. Introducing the Overlander Camping Setup. The tent fits right on top of your truck, sleeps three, and features an LED light bar and USB connections. It's easy to travel with and pack up to get you away from everyone and up off the ground. Auto Concepts also will get your rig detailed to look good for the summer to make sure your vehicle looks sharp inside and out. Auto Concepts does window tinting, lift kits, cattle guards, and more. Everything your vehicle needs. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. For more than 20 years, Off the Wall Advertising has built a track record of success helping businesses like yours across the state of Montana. While working with hundreds of businesses, including Jason Walker Media, they have developed a system for success. Off the Wall Advertising utilizes indoor advertising, placing professional billboards in high traffic locations. Let Off the Wall Advertising show you how to get the return on investment you expect from every advertising dollar. Off the Wall Advertising, along with the Jason Walker Show and Continental Divide Radio, have packages for even more bang for your buck. Contact Off the Wall today at offthewallmt.com to schedule a free consultation. Casey Damon is a sixth generation Montanan with deep roots, making her a true Montana insider. She knows all the best places from fishing and recreation to entertainment and local hidden gems. She grew up here, went to the historic Central Elementary School and graduated from Helena High. She is proud of her Montana lifestyle and loves Montana history. Helena and Central Montana are great places to live, work and enjoy, which is why she chooses to keep calling it home. Voted Helena's favorite realtor and Montana's best residential realtor. Realtor, there's no wonder why people go to her for their real estate needs. Casey understands that selling and buying a home is complex and deeply personal. There's also a lot at stake financially and personally. This perspective on the process and the responsibility felt towards her clients drives Casey to truly be an expert at her job. She understands the market and all the variables involved in a real estate transaction, making sure you feel supported and that you have a trusted advisor by your side. To work with Casey Damon, give her a call at 406-465-6780 or text K-A-C-I-E to 85377. Saturday nights are meant for dancing, fun, and good times, and Continental Divide Radio is your home for all that and more as we bring you the Joe Mitchell State Farm Country Dance Hour, followed by an hour of nothing but the best from the 80s with the Joe Mitchell State Farm 80s Party Hour. Celebrate the music of your memories with only the best country dance songs and music from the decade of decadence. The Joe Mitchell State Farm Country Dance Hour and the Joe Mitchell State Farm 80s Dance Party. Saturday nights beginning at 9 
on Continental Divide Radio. There's only one place in Helena to cure your craving for Cajun cuisine, and that is Cafe Zydeco. From po'boys and catfish to jambalaya and much more, Cafe Zydeco has the best Cajun this side of New Orleans. And Cafe Zydeco cares about those that take care of us. Military, law enforcement, first responders can get your drink free as a way of saying thank you to those that protect us every day. If you're looking for a place to grab lunch or dinner, get the flavor of the Big Easy in Big Sky Country at Cafe Zydeco on Euclid in Helena. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Mobile Center, the Copper Club Casino. This is the Jason Walker Show. I mean, when you talk about ultimate one hit wonders, this one right here, right? Aha, uh-huh. take on me. I mean, they had a couple other ones that were pretty good. Um, Sun Always Shines on, t- on TV. Uh, hunting High and Low. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, welcome back off the Wall Man Cave on a Thursday. Jason Walker Show. Big games coming up tonight in AA. Also in Class B. And that includes Jefferson down at Big Timber. Big game for the Panthers. Sitting third in the state. And joining us to talk about that win last week over Columbus. Look ahead to this week tonight against the Sheepherders is the head coach of Jefferson, Clint Lang. Okay. Well, it was a nice win at home over Columbus last week. Uh, Defensively, a very well-played football game. One score on the offensive side, but that defense came to play against Columbus and got the job done, Coach. Yeah, we played pretty good, except for we gave up a couple big passing plays where quarterbacks just scrambling, and then we peak the backfield and don't pay attention to our guy, and all of a sudden we lose track of him. I mean, and that's kind of been a theme for us this, this year, so we've been focusing on that this week in practice. It is tough when you're playing one of those types of quarterbacks, um, but you have to be happy overall. I know it, you know it's a close win, but it's a win, and any win at this point in the year with just a couple of weeks left in the regular season is important. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's times where you don't play very good and you still got to find a way to win because we've been in those situations where a game we should win, but we don't play very good, and then we don't win. Well, last week we did not play well, and we still found a way to win. So that's the positive of it. Absolutely. Um, who who impressed you on that defensive side? Oh, I mean, you know, it's, you know, Brady Armstrong, Luke Oxart. Like, they're, they're always there every game. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then uh, – like, I mean, it's just a lot. Of, you know, I, I felt, honestly, I felt like it was probably our worst game as far as pass coverage goes, you know. I mean, and then the, what they were doing offensively kind of, I don't know, it really kind of took our middle linebackers out of the game because they never really tried to run on us, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So and then it and then what they were doing with the quarterback and rolling him out and then they were they were leaving seven guys in the block so we, I mean there was a lot of things where you know we just I don't know it wasn't like a normal defensive game for us I mean we didn't get any sacks in that game just I don't, and then their their receivers made some plays and their quarterback you know made some good throws I was really impressed with the quarterback and two of their receivers. Uh, Clint Lang joining us, Jefferson High football coach. You got Big Timber on the road tonight, uh, a rare Thursday game. There's a lot of Thursday games across the state tonight in AA and, and the other classifications. Why tonight down in Big Timber? 
they called a couple weeks ago and they said they were having trouble getting refs mm. for the game uh, for Friday. So they just asked me if I'd be willing to play on Thursday. And then me thinking ahead a little bit, uh, you know, Three Forks Manhattan's tomorrow night. So I was like, yeah, I'll play. I'll play Thursday. <laughs> and then go watch a game on Friday. Exactly. Yes. Uh, changes the routine a little bit. As a routine kind of guy with football at this time of the year, what is the message to the guys to, you know, you lose a day of practice here. We got to play a game. So don't come ready for practice tonight. Come ready to play football. Yeah, we we just, you know, changed up a little bit on how we do things and just had to lock in, you know, a little bit earlier, so to speak, in the week. But I think the kids are excited for it because – they're kind of looking forward to a three day weekend, so to speak. So I think they're ready to go. Uh, tell me about big timber and what you can expect to see. Uh, they got some big guys up front and then they actually have one of the better running backs that we'll play all year. I mean, the Stosich kid who he honestly might've won the state track meet in one of the hurdle events. I can't remember, but I know, I know he definitely placed in both of them and he's got good speed. And like against Columbus, he had a 70 yard touchdown run and like a 30 yard touchdown run. So he's a guy that you can't let pop one. They do have a couple of big running backs. Uh, Stosich, 5'11", 184. Uh, Coulter Anderson, a junior. He's also a linebacker, 6'2", 180. Those guys are hard to bring down. But you've got, you know, you mentioned Brady. You mentioned Luke. You mentioned that defense. Ben Werner in there, too. I mean, these are guys that can handle the job. Yeah, we we generally we tackle really well. Now, last week was probably our worst tackling game of the season. But for the most part, we've tackled well. Clint Lang joining us here, Jefferson football coach. Brett Favre's birthday today is. Where does he rank in your top of uh, top list of quarterbacks? Oh, I'd have to think about it. I mean, he'd be he'd be in there, probably in the top ten somewhere. I'd have to think about it though. Okay, he's fifty five today. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that, but I figured it would be up there somewhere. I mean, he's not much older than us, coach. Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. He's got millions more than us, but. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Um, baseball playoffs, my Mets yeah. knocking out the don't Phillies. Talk about it. I don't oh, want to talk about it. Well, I wasn't going to bring up the other game, but I had, I mean, the Mets-Phillies, no. that was a great series. Francisco no. Lindor. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> Phillies played their worst baseball this season. It was not a good time for them to slump like they did, but you got to give the Mets some credit. They've been playing playoff baseball since August. No, I'm not giving them any credit. I hope they get <laughs> smashed next series. <laughs> Who do you want to win, L.A. or San Diego? Uh, probably San Diego, I guess. Okay. I think San Diego is honestly better. Than the Dodgers, I agree. And I, I just, I don't like the Dodgers. I'd rather see a Mets Padres uh, LCS. So, yeah. All right. I'm, I'm rooting for Tigers or Royals. Well, is, anybody on that side but the Yankees. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, so, that's probably true. We have more in common than we don't, coach. Yeah, but I'm not. Now that the Phillies are out, I'm, ooh, it's not, it's not good. Especially since they have the best record in baseball three quarters of the season. Yeah, and, and then another thing I, I have beef with is the the divisional series should be seven games. I agree. Thank you. It's it's ridiculous that you play 162 games and then you get a bye in the first round and then it all comes down to a five game series. It's it's they got it is what they honestly should do is they should cut down the wild card either either cut the number of teams they allow in or just make them play one game because the teams that earn the best record and earn the buys should not, not all of a sudden have a five game series after you play 162. I do not disagree with that. I, I think you shorten the regular season. You make, you know, you can do a best of five with the wild card or keep it a best of three, but it's the, the division series championship series all have to be seven games. They have to be. I mean, especially you're, you're just, I don't know. I think you're punishing the teams that earned the, the buy of the best records throughout the year by playing such short series. 
I, I agree you with know, you on that one. You know, yep. you know, the wild card, honestly, the wild card should probably be five. But I don't know, that's just my thoughts. It's just frustrating. I mean, yeah, Philadelphia would have been down three to one, but you just never know, especially with it. You still got Zach Wheeler and uh, they could get hot, but I just don't think they should be five games. I, I agree 100%, Coach. Even with my Mets winning, I agree with you. Yeah. Because they should have so, swept. I mean, honestly, it, they shouldn't have blown game two. Oh, right come now. on, man. Don't, don't, don't even <laughs> think get more mad. <laughs> Coach, you got 24 hours to, to get to, to digest it and move on. That's what you, that's what every coach says after a win or loss, you get 24 hours. Not when this, not when the season ends, <laughs> but, a lot more than 24 hours, but you, you have still season left coach. You've got, oh, I know Panthers. You got a big game tonight. You've got a couple of big games, you know, in the next two weeks and then it's playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah, got a I lot know. to look forward to. Yeah. Playoffs are only, I don't know. Well, after tonight, only two more games in the playoffs. I know. I know. So you've got great things. You're you're over Sunday. You're over last night. We're focused on tonight, and we're moving on to a Panther victory. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. See, everything everything can be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Coach, you are the best. I absolutely love chatting with you. Good luck on the road down in Big Timber tonight, and uh, take care of that. Uh, that play take care of that win and we'll talk next week all right sounds good thank you oh clint lang is there anybody better than him oh i don't think so uh big game panthers sheep herders tonight sweet grass county big timber montana that'll be a fun one uh let's see here what else is going on um don't forget about the jasonwalkershow.com webpage if you missed anything. You can also, 6 to 10 every Monday through Friday, that includes tomorrow, a finally Friday edition of Jaywalk in the Mornings as we play the music of your memories on Continental Divide Radio all the time, 24-7. You've got Saturday Night Country Dance Hour at 9, the 80s Party Hour at 10, both brought to you by Joe Mitchell State Farm. And uh, great, great, great stuff. I mean... Eight decades, 70-plus years of music. Nobody does the variety that we do. And we, Continental Divide Radio, truly Montana-made. I was born and raised in Montana. I didn't come from another state like Wyoming or wherever radio station owners come from. I'm from Montana. I care about Montana. Uh, let's do on this day in history. It is October the 10th, 10, 10, 2024. It is uh, National Angel Food Cake Day, Cake Decorating Day, Walk to a Park Day, Handbag Day. It's also National Metric Day. Thank gosh we don't do metrics. Uh, this day in some sports history, the, uh, where's, where was it, 19... 19- 60, 16 members of the Cal Poly football team died in a plane crash in Toledo, Ohio. Uh, The entire Hong Kong national cricket team died in a shipwreck off Taiwan, 1892. We mentioned Brett Favre turning 55. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is 50 today. Ken Caminiti, the great slugger, third baseman, um, died on this date, 2004, of a drug overdose. He was 41. Uh, let's see. Steve Perry joined the band Journey on this date, 1978. Uh, Giuseppe Verde, born in 1813, composer. David Lee Roth is 70 today. Tanya Tucker, born on this date, 1958. Uh, let's see. Jody Benson, the voice of Ariel on The Little Mermaid, born on this date, 1961. Remember uh, Saved by the Bell? Who doesn't? Come on. Kelly Kapowski. Mm -hmm. Uh, A.C. Slater, Mario Lopez, turns 51 today. Also a birthday today. Jody Lynn O'Keefe. She was uh, Cassidy, Don Johnson's daughter on Nash Bridges. Beautiful. 1978. A couple of deaths on this date. 1985, Orson Welles and Yul Brynner 
No Brenner. Magnificent Seven. Unbelievable. Uh, Superman. Christopher Reeve died on this date in 2004. The U.S. Naval Academy opened on this date in Annapolis, 1845. The billiard ball was uh, patented on this date, 1865, by John Wesley Hyatt. Do you know the billiard ball originally was made from cellulose nitrate? And uh, that's it for On This Day in History. Uh, personal On This Day in History. Um, yesterday was a year since I had my last alcoholic beverage. So today, officially one year sober. So self-kudos to me, but uh, best decision and really easy, actually. I was surprised, but it's not like I was a heavy, heavy, heavy drinker. I wasn't. I had a tendency to binge, but uh, decided to give it up for a couple weeks. And as the days kept mounting, just kept going. So day 366 today, one year today. So uh, if, you're, if you've gone through that, congratulations. If you're going through it, congratulations. Keep it going. Keep your head up. Let's do this. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. And the Hurricane Milton that went through yesterday, last night in Florida. I was looking at Earth Cam today, and man, Florida looks absolutely beautiful today. It really does. Uh, the parts where it went through, I mean, just, let's see, can we do it? Yeah, there's Earth Cam. I mean, you've got Hillsborough Beach. Where's that one? Uh, Lauderdale by the Sea, Lakeland. And, uh, man, just hurricane. And Nadine is projected soon to hit Florida, another hurricane. It's all, it's crazy how all of this is happening right before the election, right? I mean, they predicted a bad hurricane season, but there wasn't much in August or September till the end of September. What do I know? Um, Let's see here. Have a great weekend. We're going to do it again tomorrow. No, we're not. We're going to do Jaywalk in the Mornings, our finally Friday edition, 6 a.m. on Continental Divide Radio. Looking forward to that, playing nothing but the music of your memories. And you can check Continental Divide Radio app uh, out anytime. uh, uh, Free download at the Apple App Store. You can also check it out at Odyssey app, the TuneIn app. Alexa, play Continental Divide Radio. And let us know what you think. Jason at JasonWalkerMedia.com or Jason at JasonWalkerShow.com. Find it, uh, Jason Walker Show on the X, as well as uh, at Radio Divide, our Twitter handle, X handle. And we're also on Facebook, Continental Divide Radio, and the Instagram, Jason Walker Show and Continental Divide Radio both. So you can check us out anytime. Uh, Have a great weekend. Good luck to everybody in action tonight and this weekend across the state. We are nearing the end of the regular season. For football, volleyball, soccer. We're going to be talking state tournaments here in just a few weeks. State playoffs. So, it is that time of the year. Enjoy the fall sports while you can. See you next week. We'll have a a weekend recap. Our auto contest performance of the week. Thanks to Dane Broadhead, Kyle Mihalish, Tyler Murray, Joe Horn, Clint Lang for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here next week on The Jason Walker Show. The Jason Walker Show is produced by The Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of The Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.